every time I'm out on the water with a great boat such as this Boston Whaler 210 Montauk, I feel very fortunate that we're able to take the very best boats out on the water. Because that is actually what I think this is. Welcome at another walkthrough of this Boston Whaler 210 Montauk. And as usual, I'd like to start off at the bow. Um, there's a few options on this boat, like this um, package with all these uh, cushions. What I truly like and what I think people in the Netherlands will all order on a Boston Whaler 210 Montauk. Because as you can see, you have a really big and nice sun lounge area. Uh, I am 1 meter 92, but as you can see with these optional backrests, this is just a great place to sit. The ergonomics are perfect. The angle of the backrest has been done in just the right way. And this is just a really nice way to be able to enjoy a great day on the water, being at anchor or, well, whatever you do. There's cup holders here, integrated in these uh, cushions, one here, one there. And there's two on each side behind these uh, backrests. These can also be taken away, of course. And there's further seating on this optional cooler, which is really big. Um, and what I have noticed at, uh, that th th this is a really comfortable and practical place to sit while driving, especially when uh, the conditions are slightly rough. So nice seating and also a really big, big cooler to bring cold drinks for a great day on the water. Of course, Boston Whalers are always kind of fish, uh, fishing aimed. Um, so there's rod, all, rod holders right here. There's a couple more at the back. In the Netherlands, we don't really do a lot of fishing. fishing. Our customers tend to take a boat such as this one out on the water, do a bit of water skiing, uh, anchor, swim, etc., etc. And I think for both purposes, this boat is just great. The Montauk family um, is a, a range, a family, which is known for its practicality. They are, are extremely wide. And what is very nice is that the beam is carried all the way through the boat. So there's lots of room. And you notice that in the bow area, because this is extremely wide. So again, a big, sun uh, lounge area but also this is uh, quite nice this can be used as a, ca a casting platform uh, and what i like is uh, non-skid all over and as you can see i don't need anything to hang on to because it's just big enough to walk around if you're mooring up or whatever there's always really nice detailing with boston whalers and what i really appreciate is uh, nice features such as this um, this navigation light right here but not only that this has been made in a way that the lines if you were to attach a line here uh, they run through here in a really nice way and this is a made to last a lifetime so full stainless steel like all the cleats they're big they're full stainless steel uh, they're attached in a proper way so you don't see Boston Whaler with cracks here, uh, even after uh, 20 plus years. That has all been done in a really good way. You may have noticed that this boat has a white rub rail with a stainless steel insert. Um, as a different alternative, you can have it in black also with a stainless steel insert. This stainless steel railing, uh, all stainless steel by the way, is made out of 316 quality, so the best uh, quality available. Uh, and what I like also is the welding. You don't see uh, welding here. This has really been done in a nice way. It's the details that count. But this is an option. And as an alternative, you can also have a low profile side rail right here. We didn't, cho we didn't choose to order it because I think having both is a bit too much. But of course, it's a matter of personal taste. You can have both or just one of them or none even, I think. Uh, you may know the speakers. There's two more speakers in the back for the optional JL audio. And below these cushions is storage. 
let me just quickly show you. This is the anchor locker and of course the finishing is second to none as we're used to with Boston Whaler with fiberglass, uh, gel coat finishing and it's small details and if you are uh, I'm in the, I've been in the industry for more than uh, 32 years. Uh, these are just nice details, also stainless steel to catch this. So also here after 30 plus years, this is still quite good. A toe eye right there uh, used from the outside or to attach the anchor to. It drains overboard also. And these details so that the water doesn't simply uh, drain in or run into uh, the anchor locker are just the details that I think count. And it's other small things like this, for example, attaching these just with your thumbs. We all know what a struggle it can be and it's just like this, relatively easy. And also, please notice this double stitching here on the corners. If I see boats which are 20 years old, uh, I usually see cushions which are torn and this is prevented uh, at Boston Whaler by using double stitching on the corners. There's further storage down here. A really, really big one. People who fish uh, really appreciate it, this, but also if you uh, use this boat for water skiing or other things, there's plenty of place to uh, store everything you'd want to bring along. And also this drains overboard. Full non-skid again. So if you don't use the cushions, this is an even bigger casting platform. Can be used for different purposes. Going back, uh, of course, there's a windshield here. Uh, there's an optional hardtop. We tend not to order that for the Netherlands because we have bridges. And our climate is in a way that now it's May and we're actually really pleased to feel the sunshine and the wind. So we prefer not ordering the hardtop, but it is an option which is available. I like this setup and I really like this console. Um, a Bimini uh, can be ordered as an option uh, if you have really hot days in July, August. Uh, this is just very comfortable to protect yourself from uh, the sun. Uh, and al also, of course, like we're used to with Boston Weather, all of these fittings are made out of full stainless steel, umbrella fabric, uh, prevented uh, from having mildew. Done in a nice way, a very practical one. And it can, of course, be taken off uh, easily also. You may notice some parts where they're steak, like here on this secondary footrest right here. And also, but I'll come back to that on the bathing platform. That is with the optional teak package, something I personally particularly like because I think it's a bit retro style, makes it timeless and classy, but it's a matter of taste. It is an option. Um, so being here at the uh, steering console, what I like also is that they've made this in this tan color, which doesn't reflect the sun uh, that much as a full white console would do. And also here, it's again a matter of taste, but I think it makes it look classy, timeless. Proper switches with circuit breakers, uh, smart craft gauges. There's a USB port uh, on this uh, side and a 12 volt receptacle right there. And there's place for navigation equipment. We didn't fit it yet. This is a um, stock boat, so whoever buys it can determine what screen uh, you install here. Boston Whaler works with um, Simrad. It's a brand that I particularly like for uh, their screens, their brightness, really good quality screens. Now with the new NSX, for example, they're really easy to use and good quality screens. Also here, cup holders, stainless steel, which drain also. Um, yeah, what else should I say? There's a compass right here. This is used for uh, the uh, top light, which is stored right here on the side. And what you may notice also is the relatively high freeboard here, which makes the boat safe, of 
course, it's the safest boat uh, available, available in the market with, it, with its uh, unsinkability. And inside the console is uh, an option to have a toilet. And it's only tw 21 feet, this boat. Uh, but I personally do think it's good to have this as an option. I have a wife and two kids. And they usually don't really want to come along if there's not a toilet on board. We did not install it on this particular boat yet. But let me just show you that even on a 21 footer, being 1 meter 92, 1 meter 92 you can actually get into this console. I mean, it's not big, but still, it can be done. There's a water tank here, which is an option, by the way. There's a small light here. I mean, it's practical, it's not all too much, but it's there. And you can have a small porta potty right here in the console. There we go. This is lockable, uh, by the way. And what I always like with Boston Whalers is their ergonomics. I mean, you notice this uh, leaning post. And with this, in this way, you can use this sitting uh, like this or a bit more comfortable like this, further back. And of course, if you turn it the other side, this full way makes you sit comfortable like this. And then I like this secondary uh, footrest uh, right here with the teak, optional. But what I particularly like is this. Standing like this with this primary footrest right there, also non-skid. You just feel that this is done in the right way. So very appreciated and a really nice solution. Also here, double stitching again. And inside this leaning post, there's enormous storage. And also here you notice a nice detail such as this small gasket to prevent water from coming in. This slightly elevated and also this so water doesn't get in. Uh, a stainless steel uh, gas strut uh, right here. Locker like this. It's just nice details. Rod holders, one on each side. All this is done in full stainless steel again. Nice railing here, relatively high. Again, I'm 1 meter 92, but for kids also, this makes the boat even safer. And a huge cockpit. Again, let me stress again that this is only a 21 footer, but it just feels a lot bigger. Montauk's uh, from Boston Whaler uh, are boats with a specific design. They are the icons, I think, for a Boston Whaler, but the design is greatly appreciate, uh, appreciated by people who like to have lots of room on a relatively small boat. Again, the beam carries through all the way to uh, both uh, the aft and uh, the bow area. And here you just notice that you have all this space available in the uh, cockpit. Not only that, there's really nice seats these aft quarter seats, which come standard. Um, and also here, nice backrest. Even for tall people like myself, this is a comfortable place to sit. And if you close it, this makes it also a nice platform if you do a bit of water skiing with the optional uh, uh, towing arch right here. This can be nice to get in and out of the water, put on your wakeboard or whatever. And also here, nice cushions. And this, this, these kinds of simple solutions that I always appreciate with Boston I mean, this, all this material, it lasts a lifetime. Um, and also here, water cannot get in like this. There's a battery here, there's one on the other side, so you're safe. I'm sure one is used as a starter battery and one is used as a service battery. Nice latches, full stainless steel cleat. There are five on the boat, two here, two midships, one in the bow. Um, let me else, let me think what else I need to mention. Right here, I think uh, the bathing platform, uh, again, this 
has been um, equipped with uh, the full teak. It has the optional teak package. And what I also appreciate is that they made this bathing platform in a way that the bathing ladder is angled away from the engine. So that getting in and out of the water can be done in a safe and also comfortable way. You see that there are four steps, so it's relatively long. And also here, ergonomics, there's a handrail right here. So getting in and out of the water is just an easy job. So a nice bathing uh, platform. This boat has been equipped with a uh, 200 horsepower V6 engine from Mercury. I think a really uh, good combination with this 210 Montauk. Standard, it comes with a 150 EFI from Mercury, also a great four-cylinder engine. This has more power, uh, but yeah, it's a matter of taste and uh, depends on the way you use the boat. And you may notice that this is a white engine. Here in the Netherlands, our customers appre appreciate the white ones. Of course, that also is a matter of taste, but the advantage of a white engine being that you don't see salt or chalk that easily as on a black engine. Also, of course, the technical areas in each Boston Whaler is always accessible. There's a hatch here. The steering pump is right there. The wheels pump is right there. So, not only a new boat, um, well, it's always important that if you need to service a boat or if there are some mechanical problems that the uh, areas where the uh, things are mounted are still accessible and that is done with the Boston Whaler. This is the filler cap for uh, the fuel. And you may notice, sorry, yeah, I'm forgetting the shower. Thank you, Mr. Cameraman. Forgetting the shower, this is an option. Uh, there's a package where you get a um, water tank, which you may have noticed in the um, console. Uh, and this is very practical if you swim in salt or slightly dirty water. You can rinse off here by using this shower. And a small detail that I also like is this ventilation. Um, well, I don't know how to call it, but this is used for ventilation uh, because I uh, uh, tend to see sometimes boats being 10 years old or so that they have mildew all around in the bilge areas and Boston Whaler uses this to prevent that. So you see the experience there as being one of the oldest and most experienced uh, center console boat builders. Of course it's important to mention that this is a self-bailing cockpit you may notice these two really big holes that makes it a true wash and go boat. So I mean, you can leave it outside if you have a nice house at the waterfront here at the West Einder Plus and you have it right in front of you. You don't need to cover all this cockpit. I mean, if you jump on board, it's usually dry. You just hose it off if it's dirty and off you go. Not only that, it adds to uh, the safety because if you end up being in really rough waters and water coming in, it simply drains overboard, making it even safer. And again, also small details, but it's the details that counts. Accessibility to the fuel tank and uh, the uh, sender for the fuel gauge. So this is all thought of by Boston Whaler. It's all accessible. With that, I think we have gone through the boat. There's one thing I'm forgetting to mention. Rod holders also here, two on each side, so four in the back also. Let me start up the engine and let's take her out for a spin. Let me talk a bit more about the concept of the Boston Whaler Montauk family. Usually, a boat excels at a certain area. And the nice thing about this Boston Whaler 210 Montauk, I think personally, is that it excels in different areas. It is a very safe boat, it's reliable, it's dependable, and it's a wash and go boat. It's simple, you just easily take it out of the water. And when you're out of the water, it offers lots of room. It's very stable, it has a huge beam, so 
you notice that when you're out on the water in rougher conditions, it's very, very dependable and very stable. It has a relatively high freeboard, making it safe again. So there's a lot of things I really like. Of course, Boston Whalers are usually not cheap. They're not the cheapest boats, but they have a really good residual value. You notice that if you find one, which is even 30 years old, they still have a good value and they're sort sought after boats. So used boats are really, really popular also. And I think this Boston Whaler 210 and Montauk will also still be in 20 plus years time, a very sought after boat. So a truly, nice concept the build quality really is second to none everything you touch there's no rattling they use the finest materials it's small details such as a simple steering wheel which is made in a nice way but also this sort of leather wrapped visor it's all done in a really really nice way and when we see boats after a couple of years even if they've been neglect neglected you wash them you clean them and they're really good again. So, really nice concept. This boat has the 200 horsepower V6, a really nice engine. You may, by the way, have seen that I don't have a man overboard cord, but that is because I have the optional first mate uh, system, a wireless man overboard system, which we tend to use, very practical. But also with these V6 Mercury engines, you can uh, get the vessel, vessel View mobile application, which is a nice application, a nice app which you can use on your phone to see different info on the engine, um, to make like a logbook. You can even set your preferred dealer so that the dealer from a distance can see how many hours you've run, help you with an advice on service, etc. etc. So, nice features. We're doing. Um, 1,600-ish uh, RPM. I don't know the exact speed at the moment. Let me, in the meantime, while we're taking it out, get my app so that we can actually see the speed. This is in kilometers an hour. Sorry about that for the true boaters. They like to see it in knots, but there's a lot of our viewers who like to see it in kilometers. Now we're doing 12 kilometers an hour. Um, and this already is a nice speed going relatively slow. But let me take her up to plane. I'm always doing that gently for the cameraman. We have a four sleep plus at the moment. So nice conditions, beautiful weather. It's May, really nice. Uh, we're doing 3000 RPM at the moment. Still getting up to plane, 33, 34 kilometers an hour. I think this is a roughly a cruising speed that you would use making long trips. And you may already know that there's quite a few waves that you can let go of the steering wheel. Really comfortable. If I lean to the side here, nothing happens. I cannot even get it to move. It's a really stable, reliable boat. The feel is really, really nice. I am standing, leaning here, and again with this backrest in this position, this just feels very comfortable. If you are out on the water in really rough conditions, you can actually catch the waves with your legs. So this is a position that I usually like. And uh, again, we're doing 3000 RPM. If I take some turns, let me try to make some relatively short ones. There's no trim tabs on this boat. I don't think it really needs it. You can install them, but I wouldn't if I were to order one. I'm not touching the trim. I don't have to touch the trim. See, it's so simple. Power assisted steering, so I can even steer with one finger. And it all feels really simple, easy, dependable. Let me take up some further speed. 40 kilometers an hour. Let me see what she can do. 58. Now I'm tripping up the engine. 65, 66. 67 kilometers an hour. Still I can get the flow of the wheel. 
still feels very comfortable and still makes some turns full speed no problem whatsoever. I'm smiling because we feel really comfortable doing this but I'm sure the audio is not perfect at such high speeds sorry about that but still it's just we're having fun taking this boat out so with that I'd like to wrap up, up this video if there's any things uh, I forgot please leave your questions below this video I would happily answer them um, if not, thank you for watching. I hope to see you either on the water or in our showroom. Have a great day. Happy boating.